Today was the local premiere for the documentary Free to Ride. It highlights the work of LEAD, the Leaders for Equality in Action in Dayton, the RTA, and ABLE, the law firm that represented LEAD in this matter. This is, you know, one of the more tense audiences that we've watched this with, just because it's such a homegrown story. I have to say the first time I saw it was when it was in production uh, and I was at first I was shocked. I mean obviously I know the story, I've lived the story. Perhaps it was the quality of the film that struck me. I'm proud of our attorneys for getting involved with LEAD. That's an outstanding grassroots organization that had the courage to take this on. I just think that the film is very inspirational and have a high regard for the people who were involved in it. Racism at its core is very visceral and the movie touched on it very succinctly. It's all about access. Not having access can limit your choices, it can limit your, your growth. I think it will set some precedent for other people in other cities who are going through the same struggles. It shows that when you work together with unity and diversity, you can accomplish a lot. It shows you what a small group anywhere in this country can do with a little bit of dedication, some moxie, and just daring yourself to uh, speak truth to power. We piece the story in a way of showing what community action looks like. And so people can see themselves in there. People can see their organizations. People can see their government in there and there's a lot of fundamental information that allows this thing to be a teachable film. 85% of recipients of federal funds really don't understand the true meaning of Title VI, and uh, this film is a, is a great opportunity uh, to teach, I think, uh, the appropriate way to approach issues.